And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, where I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less. We have a all-Russian final. That's right. Kuna Matova, Alex and Drova here in the Netherlands. Grass court, guys. There will be delays. Grass, I say it all, all the time. Grass is the toughest tennis surface to maintain. It's the original surface. And I'm a little disappointed uh, we don't have... A grass run in the USA I think you know the tour should rotate but give us a grass run in the USA I know there's a lot of tournaments in the USA we have a ton right but the reality here is give us a grass run before Wimbledon I think it would be cool do something at the HBCU universities you know guys the ATA is the, one of the oldest professional sports league in the USA that's right the African Tennis Association we were doing tournaments, you know, over 100 years ago at the historic black colleges, all grass. We had some of the biggest tennis, tour tennis tournaments there were, you know, at the time. And uh, I would love to see some something done at, you know, uh, HBCU, do a grass tournament there, a 250 or something. Kamaro Murray's doing some great things in Chicago. Watch out for him. But nonetheless, grass, like I, I say time and time again, it's one of the toughest tennis surfaces to maintain. Uh, especially on a dark, gloomy, damp day, uh, the court gets wet. So what they do, they take this black rod thing here and they pretty much uh, just, you know, kind of just move it around the court. It absorbs any type of moisture on the court and throws it back into the air, which is pretty cool. Now, clay is pretty tough to maintain as well, but grass without a doubt. No grass surface is equal. They're all different, you know, depends on how, you know, what what area of the court is getting a lot more wear and tear you know the surface itself it's not going to be level it's not going to be even it's it's nowhere near hard and it's definitely unlike clay you have to love grass guys and in those drop shots on grass they do not bounce back katarina guys she is now Look, she's forced a third set, and I have to be concerned with Veronica Kudamatova. This is a match where, where Alex Androva, she wears on you. She's just so powerful and strong, and eventually it takes its course on you. Both ladies are serving well. Seven aces from Ekaterina, eight from Kudamatova, as Alex Androva would break here in the 10th service game. She's forcing a third set. Kudamatova came into this match the favorite, but I'll be honest with you. I, I do not like her chances of winning this championship. Uh, going three sets, she needed to get this done in two. Alex Androvic just gets stronger and stronger as the match goes on. She finds her range. She's so powerful. And right now, Kunamatova is starting to get frustrated. Hands over the head is not a good sign. Uh, you know this match is going over. Right now, Katarina is winning about 66% of her first serves. She is attacking the second serve of Kuna Matova, winning 55% of those. Kuna Matova is doing well on her first serves. Uh, both ladies making a ton of double faults, but it's really coming down to the break point save. Look, Kuna Matova is keeping Alex Androva under heavy pressure point situations. She's had 11 break point opportunities, but she's only cashed in on three of them. That's the difference in this match. Kuna Matova probably should have put it away in two. But going three, I do not like Kuna Motova's chances of winning this match going three. Katarina gets stronger and stronger as the match goes on, and Kuna Motova starts to break down. Get your popcorn, buckle your seatbelts. We are in for a ride. Three set, winner take all championship. You can't ask for anything else on a Sunday morning.